Today, we're gonna to be looking at encoding messages, and we're gonna create a QR code. A QR code, I think most of us know what that are. Th those are. We see them on products and signs and trucks, and it's just, you know, squares that represent text, basically. And uh, they are very, very useful, can hold a lot of text, and also can be used to give you a bunch of information like URLs, phone numbers, contact information, because all those things are just plain text. And even though a QR code is meant to be read by a computer, they theoretically, if you know how to, you know, the, the process, you can actually decode them. Uh, you know, a human can decode them. It just takes a lot, uh, but they are very, very cool. And in this case, we're gonna use QR encode to create them. And you can go online and say QR code generator and find a website, but again, why are you passing all that information to a server somewhere when you could be doing it yourself locally on your machine? So I'm going to use Apt. I'm on Debian, so I'm using Apt as my package manager. Use whatever your package manager is. sudo apt install qr encode to install it. I already have it installed, and we are going to... I think I already have it installed. qr... Yeah, I have it installed. <laughs> uh, we can say QR encode and dash H to see some basic options. We can also uh, check out the man page, which will give us more information. Again, with any of the things I'm going over in this series, uh, we can do QR encode man. It will give you the full man page, which tend to have more information than the basic help. Uh, but this is a pretty simple program, so the help file is very helpful. I have my screen split here. You may be asking why. Because the first thing we're going to do is create an image, right? So I'm going to have a message. I'm going to say this is my message, right? And so I printed, this is my message. Again, now I can use the pipe character to send that to another program. I'm gonna send it to QR encode. Now, if I just say QR encode, it's gonna bring up the help because I didn't give it enough information. One of the things we need to tell it is what type uh, of output do we want? And you can see if we do dash T here, we can do a PNG, uh, we can do a PNG32, an ESP, an SVG. These are all image types, but then we get into other formats that we're going to talk about in a moment. But let's start off with the most basic. We're going to do a PNG. So we're going to run that same command. I'm going to say dash T PNG. Now, if I do that now, it says no output name given. I have to give it a name, right, for, for this particular format. So I'm just, I'm just going to say it. I'll call it message dot png and a png is just an image and when i do that i forgot to say dash o to say output and as you can see in my file manager we're in the same folder there's the qr code this is just a thumbnail of it it's such a simple message you could probably point your phone at the screen right now and get that message uh, let's go ahead and open it up and zoom in a bit so Right now, if you're watching this video, you should be able to point your phone at it if you're watching it on a desktop. And when you scan it with your phone, it should say, this is my message, that is the text. That is how you create a QR code. But remember, part of this series, uh, we are looking at, we want all our output to be typeable text. So, so that, now, we're gonna get into base 64, so I could take that image and make it base 64, which is another type of encoding. So we'll be double encoding it, we'll be encoding it as a QR code, and then we'll be encoding it as base 64, and then whoever gets it would have to decode it into an image and then scan that image. But QR code, again, if we were to just run uh, QR encode dash H, or even just give it no option, some of these other options, look, we have ASCII here, and then ASCII I, which is ASCII inverted. And then we have uh, UTF-8 and UTF-8I, which means inverted. Let's start off with that, because it looks a little bit nicer, right? So I'm gonna run this and I'm going to say type, and I'm gonna say UTF-8. And when I do that, it gives me a QR code right here in the shell. It didn't generate an image. I could dump this into a text file, because this is text. It's Unicode text which Unicode allows for special characters. So you can see I can highlight this just like I would any other text. So theoretically, I could put this in a text document or send it multiple different ways. Uh, they are special characters, so there might be some cases, depending on how you're sending your message, that those might not be able to send. Again, my goal here is not just text characters, which this is, but typable text characters. So again, if we run QR encode dash H, we can see here ASCII. What is ASCII? ASCII just means basically, to simplify it, it's a whole standard, but it means you're gonna be able to type it on the keyboard. So let's go ahead, run this again, but instead of UTF-8, we're gonna say ASCII. Look at that. 
It's a little bit larger. It takes up a little more space than, than the, the blocks, but it's just spaces and it's pound symbols or hashtags, whatever you want to call them. And again, just like the last one, if you're running the video, you can be able to scan that with the phone. If you're watching this on a desktop, you should be able to pick up your phone, point your camera at it, and this should scan and show you the message. This is my message. This is great. I personally like to invert it. So if I just add another I, and this is not case insensitive. I'm pretty sure if I type all this lowercase, it still works. If I do that, it's the same exact thing. It's just flipping what are the spaces and what are the pound symbols. Now, I could take this and I can send this one line at a time in a text. I can send it all in, in one message. It might mess up the formatting a little bit, but I should be able to send this in like just a standard SMS, non-MMS, you know, a standard text, text message, one line at a time. And the person on the other end could take all those lines, put them together and then scan it with their phone. Okay, or scan it right here on their computer. So we've just generated some, some files. So we have the image we originally created. Uh, and then we also have uh, another program, two programs we're gonna install. So we're gonna say, again, I'm using a Debian-based system, so apt is my package manager. I'm gonna apt install zbar-tools, which will give me tools to uh, decode a QR code that's in an image or on the screen. And then uh, zbar cam will allow me to use my webcam. Just like you, with your cell phone, you can scan QR codes. This allows you to real-time scan things with your webcam. I'm not gonna use that. I just wanted to show you that it was there. We're gonna install them, uh, and which I already have ZBar tools installed. And so now, again, I, if I list out my files here, I have that original message that uh, PNG, that image that we created. And what I can do is I can just say ZBar image and I can give it that file name. And what's it gonna do? It's going to tell me that this is a QR code. It's giving me, this is my message. And it gives you some information. It scanned one barcode because if the image has multiple barcodes, it will decode all of them. Uh, it found one barcode in one image in 0 0.0 seconds, okay? We may not want all that information. So let's look at some other options. Uh, if we, again, use the man file, we can look at ZBar image and we have some options here and we can read about all the details down there, but right away I see quiet here, okay? So I, I know that's gonna be one of the options I want. So let's go ahead and run this again. We're going to scan that image, but I'm gonna say dash dash quiet. It got rid of this information here uh, saying what it scanned and how many scanned and how fast scanned. So that quieted, but we still have this QR code message here. By the way, ZBar code can also, or ZBar image can also scan other types of, of um, barcodes, just like UPCs on products or other barcodes. Just so you know, that's why it's telling me here, it found a QR code, but I really don't care. I already know it's a QR code, right? So another option, you can go through the man file, but if I just say dash dash raw, it's gonna give me the raw output, just the message, right? So I have this PNG, which is the QR code, and we're saying, okay, let's decode that and just give me the message. So we've looked at, in this video, creating QR codes, both images like uh, a PNG, uh, using Unicode block characters, but also just using ASCII typable characters. And then we also looked at decoding them, right? So I hope you found this useful. There's more in this series to come. Be sure to check out the description of this video for all the notes uh, on, on everything in this series. And I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.